Hi, I'm Robin with Robin's Three Three. We're going to be working on a floral arrangement today using an old lampshade that I picked up at a local craft store. I was able to put this piece of styrofoam in through the bottom here. So I'm actually going to glue it to what would have been the top of the lampshade. Now, because I kind of want to hide those, hide that, I'm actually going to wrap rope around the bottom. So what I'm doing is I'm tying a knot. Let me pull you in a little so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay. I'm tying a knot and I will be gluing it so it'll stay in place. And then we're just going to wrap it around the base. Now I would suggest using something like scissors to press it against there, not your fingers. Or a pair of pliers, whatever you have handy. want the first row to really stay in place so I'm actually going to do every every rung on this because then I can build from there but like I said I just want this to look farmhouse and I want it to cover up the styrofoam. The styrofoam is the round styrofoam from the Dollar Tree. It's pretty thick rope, so I'm not burning myself. There we go. All right, now, now we can take it and just kind of go along the top of the rope and do it that way. Why did that come apart? There we go. This where the knot is will be the back. So we should be able to continue from there.
And through the power of editing, I will probably edit some of this out because it's just so repetitive. So you won't have to watch me wrap and wrap and wrap and glue.
Now for the last part, I'm going to take it to the inside and glue it. There we go. Nice base. All right. Now, what we are going to do next, I have a lot of English ivy, and I love decorating with English ivy. Now, I'm actually going to bend this outward like that and pull it through this part. English, any kind of ivy, likes to climb. There we go. Put another one in here. And we're going to kind of pull it out, but then bend it down, but then bend it back up again. Now, this is the back, and this is the front. So, I'm going to actually, I have some longer pieces here. These, um, this ivy all came from Sims. I can leave some numbers in the description. I think I'm going to put about, let's try to get three first and then see how they like it and see if I want to add more. A little bit shorter than what it is. Trim off the excess leaves. Say it looks a little spaced funny there, but it's it's all good. If I wanted to, I could bring this back up, but this is all going to go on a shelving <coughs> excuse me shelving unit that I have outside my door. So I think we'll put this in there too. Kinda save it, not lose it. Okay. Now my chicken is going to go in the middle, and I have a little pot lid. If he didn't fit real well in there, I 
he didn't sit flat that I could put in there. There. I like how he's sitting better now. Kind of. <laughs> All right. Now, we could do one of several things. We could add some flowers around here. These are just a garden bush, it says. These came from Michael's. I'm not really liking that. So, I think I want some Dusty Miller in here. Just cut. as a different variation of this color. Now what the heck? I <laughs> oh my gosh. I got everything falling apart. Yeah, I kind of like that. Kind of breaks up. But I think I want to go with a red flower in there. And I'm not sure if I want to go with tiny or if I want to go with some geraniums. Let's try the geraniums and see. And I could, if I wanted, I could even add lights to this and stick some up inside him because he has all these holes, these cutouts. Hmm. try the little ones. I think I will like those better. to the styrofoam. There we go. And this one I'm gonna need a longer piece. Note to self, next time leave the chicken off <laughs> until you're done. There we go. Okay. Still did not get into the styrofoam. popped. Okay. Not gonna mess around. We're just gonna go for the big gun. That'll get it in there. There. 
All right, so we've got like three pieces of Dusty Miller, and we've got two pieces of this red, little red flower. this Kidding me. Repeat. All right. Now we'll put our chicken in there. And I'm thinking you might want to do something with the raffia. I know I want to tie a bow on this somewhere, somehow. Just a little bow. I also think I want to incorporate some of the raffia in there. Do I want that there, or do I want it on the side? I think I want it on the side.
think I'm going to take these additional pieces and have them coming up and out of here. And I do have some eggs, but I'm not liking those with it. I think I do need like a bigger flower in there. That kind of takes away from... I need more of a variegated red flower. Let's try this one. Give it a little height. behind here. I think that's what, what I want. Let's take this out. And let's use the shorter piece here. back in. There is the base to hold our chicken. There we go. don't want to do that. And then we fix our bow. One more little flower right in there. Kind of have it go like that and swoop up. Little 
rim broke. That's right. We will tie it up with raffia. So you don't even see that break. And I think we're going to move the bow down just a little bit closer to that piece of raffia so it looks more natural. There we go. We need a few little white flowers to break all that up. I think we need the leaves just down in here. There. Okay. There we go. Oops. That one come out. It did. You can't have that. There. Much better. Okay, there we go. And we're done. Lampshade turned into floral arrangement. I will take pictures of this outside so you can see it in its glory. And uh, I thank you for joining me. Have a great day. Bye. Now, that little piece of um, raffia I put there did not hold. So, we're going to take this flat um, trim and we're going to wrap it around the tops, the top of this. I'm just going to go all the way around. And to make this easier, we're going to pull this braided jute off the cardboard and we're just going to go around the top with it. It'll hold that in place, it'll finish it off, and I think it'll give it more of a farmhouse look, which is what I'm going for. So, let's give it a shot and see what we come up with. It'll be a little awkward till we get past that crack, but I think it's our best bet for covering it up and securing it. Ugh. 
There we go. Let's hope we have enough. There. That covered it up. Because this is flat, I can kind of um, lay it on an angle, which is nice. It does not require as much that way. like it already. What do you think? And let me put that piece that came out from back in the back. Let's fix that. And then I will finish the rest of the jute off camera. But I think you have a pretty good idea of how to do this. And I thank you for joining me. Have a great day.